swindle gives you 100 days to make enough money to shut down a new AI technology that will make your career as a burglar obsolete. Each job you take is one day off the clock as you start in the slums and earn enough cash to be able to buy upgrades assisting you in robbery and earning the security clearance required to rob a higher class of building. Each house is procedurally generated and it seems like every time you purchase an upgrade, the game gets harder by adding more enemies, new types of enemies, or just being unfair with house layout. That your movement at the beginning is something I can only describe as finicky does little to assist matters. Double jumps and staying put on a wall are welcome additions when you buy them, but the chunky and floating movement of your character doesn't change much with these additions. If anything, it gives you other frustrating ways to trip the alarm and to bail on a job before completion. It seems that everything in the game is working against you, your inexperience as a burglar being one of the key factors. Interesting that the game describes you as a master burglar, but each death will saddle you with a new identity and they all have the same movement issues. Sneaking into a house, hacking the computer, and looting the majority of the cash before leaving is a great feeling when it works, but it's more of a relief than a triumph. The 100 days mechanic makes you rethink leaving the house to get a better layout, but so many of the layouts seem so unfair, and since there isn't a penalty for death aside from losing the money, either staying or leaving seem like decent options. Your first attempt at the game is unlikely to get you to the end anyway, so why not waste your days and learn how the game works if you're enjoying yourself. I was not really enjoying myself. Instead of enjoying the challenge of approaching these dastardly house mazes, I was annoyed that the random generation of the levels rarely saddled me with something that didn't seem insurmountable. The upgrades helped, but movement never really got easier. The game timer was an ever-present force, but one that ultimately held little tension, as I knew I would not be getting to the end during my time with the game, 